Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. It's Sunday morning, so guess what time it is? It's bagel time. I'm on my way to the bagel baker now. Could be an issue though, because their online ordering was disabled. Usually when that happens, it means they're batshit crazy busy, and this could be a long, long wait. But we'll find out. Let's go. Okay, Don't, not really sure what that was all about, but I walked in, there was nobody in line. I walked right up, ordered my food. I mean, there's some people sitting inside eating, but all things considered, it's not the normal batshit crazy Sunday morning at the Bagel Baker. So I don't know, their website just must be messed up or something. Every once in a while, I guess it happens. So yes, bagels gotten. I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna be doing today. Probably nothing exciting because I have day job stuff to do. And normally on Sundays is when I do, I guess what you call my office day, what, what I set up for the week. All right, kids, here's what I decided to do today. Something the same, but different. I'm gonna go out and shoot some pictures. And I've decided to use the A7R4 with the, look at that, huh? with the Sigma 105 F1.4. It's a beast, it's a wrist breaker, but I'm up for the challenge. This is a 105 millimeter filter. I thought it was 95. It's not, it's 105, just like the lens, 105. Finding these is one, difficult, two, expensive. Now the problem is with these lenses, is that they shove them into these little plastic wrap thingamajiggers and the lenses are just all sputzed up with stuff. Not the best method for storing your filters. What I do anytime I buy these things and they're all sputzed up like that. And of course, every once in a while, since you all know and have heard me whine about how awful and difficult it is to keep my lenses and filters free of dust and dirt. So way back when, when I decided that I was gonna do this again, and I realized how much of a difficult time I was having keeping all of my lenses free of sputz, I ended up buying a thousand of these Zeiss lens wipes because <laughs> I need them. It's been a godsend by having them because I have a real hard time with my lenses. The other thing is that I got this Giotto rocket blower because it's absolutely necessary. For now, let's go out and play. Okay, kids, I have no idea where I'm gonna go, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to town center and see if they have decorated for the holidays yet. I don't know if they have or not. We'll figure out what's going on. But for now, let's go down to town center. Okay, kids, we're down here at town center. I'm gonna show you around. Kind of neat, huh? Let's give you a perspective. Here we have a proposal, impromptu proposal. Okay, kids, obviously I went down to town center and thought that I would get some, you know, wonderful pictures of all the different globes. And sorry, but they were kind of lame this year. And while I was down there, I did manage to happen upon a proposal and the guy got down on his knee and presented his gal with a ring and there were a bunch of people standing around taking pictures with their phones and i did sort of snake a couple of pictures in there because why not then i came home and started to do some of the shit that was stuck up on my melon that i haven't done and one of those things was i switched out my tripod i've been meaning to do that for a while now and i had this old manfrotto like it's a 190 x pro b aluminum it was like the first, I guess, pro level tripod that I bought years ago. And it's, it's been the tripod that I've used over, over a decade, decade and a half. Then I decided that I would start getting into the smaller ones and the carbon fiber and so on and so forth. And it's, it's been here, it's been doing stuff. And for a while there, I used it as my studio and then I switched it out with this Vanguard thing. And I went back and forth and back and forth and all that kind of stuff. I have to say though, that that newer carbon fiber tripod cracking 
when I went into the woods that had my birding setup on it freaked me out. So I have an aluminum version of that tripod that's been sitting here and I thought, well, I'll just use that for like smaller photography. So like if I'm setting up the, the A7C, you know, for photography and I need a quick tripod or whatever, and I'll just throw it in the truck. But point blank, I don't trust it. After having that one crack on me and seeing how they built it with just this little nub down in, in inside, Giggity, I decided that there was no way that I was gonna trust that tripod for any of my camera setups. So I thought, all right, how am I gonna do this? Because I did buy those little um, fast, quick release thingamajiggers so that it can go in and out of the, the little tripod feet for the Zoom Weeble 2. So I took a really good look at it today and then I decided, you know what? I'm gonna switch them out and instead of having that Vanguard be the studio one that just sits here, I'm gonna make the man Frodo sit here and I'll, I'll switch out the heads. The Manfrotto is now sitting here with the Vanguard ball head on it and it is now my center uh, studio piece that holds all this shit together. And that was fun because in order to get this framing, I had to move this about 400 times and, and try to level things out and move it, move the entire tripod and twist it and blah, 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 blah. And to me right now, as I'm looking at the Ninja, all you know like the tic-tac-toe lines that i've got going across there for the rule of thirds are all equally spaced if they're not don't tell me because i don't want to hear that shit. one of the things that i did was i started playing with the with the lighting in here a little bit changing the intensity of everything because i felt like that main sl60 like main light was sort of washing out the colors back here. What I did was I changed the settings on the camera and I did have it at f1.8, 150th, but it was at like ISO, it was a really high ISO and it just, I don't know, it showed that everything was kind of blown out. And I was like, okay, you know, I know it would probably look better if the, these colors were a little bit more vibrant, not washed out. So I changed it and now I have it at 150th which of course it's always going to be on, but I changed the f-stop to f2.8 and then I instead of making it auto ISO, I changed it to ISO 320. And I had to keep playing with that and knocking it until I got the exposure at 0, 0.0. So at 0, 0.0, ISO 320, F2.8, 150th, this tells me that this is properly exposed and everything looks the way it should. Now, of course, it's a little bit darker on the Ninja screen than it is on the ZV-1 screen, but these colors look like vibrant pink and blue and all that, but I look like I might be a little bit dark and I can't tell for sure. And I mean, maybe that's the way I'm supposed to look. So I had to move the light around a little bit and the fill light and everything to get that to come up to 0.0, .0 for the exposure. So according to all the parameters and all of the little numbers and doodads on the cameras, I am perfectly exposed right here. But to my eye, because I'm used to seeing myself so bright and all this shit blown out, I don't look right, but I don't know. What do you think? How do I look? Does this look okay? I, I do like the darker colors of the lights, so it shows what they're actually supposed to be, but I'm a little concerned that I might be dark. And I also don't know if moving the setting to f2.8, I might need to put this on manual focus because I mean, yes, I'm moving around and all that kind of stuff. And you know, I, I tried playing around with the product showcase and, and now that comes up right and boom now I'm back in focus so I think it's I think it looks good let's just say it looks good looks good right let me know what you think that's all I got though I have to start my office day now which means I got to start sorting my laundry and getting that ready to go and then I have to get all this freaking you know special fourth quarter project shit like lined up and ready to go and I have an expense report to do not only has it been a great weekend but it's been a great holiday weekend, which in theory was Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, five days, but it really wasn't because I worked all of Wednesday. So it was Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, uh, four day weekend, which I'm not going to complain about. And all is well. I'm going to be on the road this week. I'm going back up to Frederick, Maryland on Wednesday, which actually I'm kind of excited about because I kind of want to go to the little canal section that, 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 you know, I got all excited about when I found it after all these years. And I want to see if they have it decorated, it, like they have that downtown area decorated for the holidays. And it'll be a good opportunity for me to go film and take some pictures, which is what I said I was going to do this December. So I'll bring you along for sure. And hopefully it'll all work out. But that's it. That's all I've got for you today. 
If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. Again, let me know what you think of how this looks, exposure-wise, color-wise, if it's pulsing, if it looks like I'm in focus or not. I'm gonna stop giving a crap about all that technical stuff going forward because I've watched so many of the big, super popular creators and I've watched their videos pulse. I've watched their ISO change. I've watched the focus go in and out. I've heard the audio glitch and other than a few pixel peepers or, you know, like total like snobs, no one gives a shit. So I'm going to stop beating myself up about it. And I think that if you're out there beating yourself about that kind of shit, you should stop doing that too. Just go out and create. All right. Sorry, I digress. As always, thank you for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.